Monsoon storms now, but we're in for a change for the first weekend. Here's Byron with your KOT7 fall weather. Hey there, Doug, and let's talk about that flooding threat because it is going to be impacting a large part of the northwest part of New Mexico as well as the higher terrain of New Mexico all the way through Thursday with heavy rainfall, potting on roads, dangerous arroyos in the high category there, even the potential of some property damage with some of the heaviest rainfall. We're looking at the showers and thunderstorms flaring up as expected across western New Mexico. Also over the mountains, we've seen some heavy rains around Cloudcroft and this action across the western parts of the state is inching closer towards central areas. So Belen, Los Lunas could see these thunderstorms soon and even here in Albuquerque, the chances there for some scattered storms looking down to the southwest from the Crest Cam. You see those dark skies looming to the southwest of Albuquerque right now. Monsoon rains favoring the northwestern part of the state, but we will have the potential in central areas as well. And of course, that heavy rain could lead to some localized flooding. A drier first weekend of fall is on the way. So if you have plans to be outside this evening, your planner shows that you'll have a chance. Some showers and thunderstorms scattered about won't rain all the time, but definitely have a plan B to get inside if you hear that thunder and the monsoon index tomorrow in the medium category with isolated storms around Albuquerque, but heavy rain across northwestern areas of the state. Lots of deep monsoon moisture feeding into New Mexico around that ridge of high pressure off to the east. That's going to be the trend for at least the next few days. It looks like and you can see with future track seven, the focus for the heaviest rainfall across the north and western part of the state. But yeah, we could get clipped here in Albuquerque, also into Santa Fe and up around the Taos area with those showers and thunderstorms. Not only for tonight, but again, as we go into your Wednesday, a front will move into the northern part of the state that could ramp up the action across northern parts of the state and a good chance that we could see not only pockets of heavy rain, that rain could lead to some flooding as well for your Wednesday and that could linger into Thursday, favoring again the Four Corners region, northwestern New Mexico and the heaviest rainfall for forecast where you see those oranges and yellows. Yeah, up around Durango, Cortez and the Four Corners. So Durango, Cortez, Chinle, Gallup, Grants, be prepared for the potential of heavy rainfall that could lead to flash flooding. You can get notified with your KOT app, then drier for the upcoming weekend. Southwest New Mexico, more scattered in nature here for Silver City, Deming, Lorsburg, TRC, Elephant Butte, and then drier for your upcoming weekend in Silver City. Into the southeast, best chance of storms over the Sacramento Mountains around Rudoso and Cloudcroft. Drier out to the east, Roswell looking at 90s, the forecast the next several days with lots of sunshine. Into the northeast, I think that we could get clipped with some showers and thunderstorms. Raton, Las Vegas, and the Santa Rosa Moriarty for the next few days, and then drier for your weekend. Santa Fe, Los Alamos, S. Española and Taos looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms could ramp up a little bit for your Thursday and then drying out Friday into the weekend with temperatures in the 70s in Santa Fe and Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, Los Linus and Blinn isolated storms around for tomorrow with those temperatures warm and then ramping it up a little bit as we go into Thursday, the first day of fall. Scattered showers and thunderstorms lingering into Friday. First weekend of fall looking really nice with lots of sunshine, highs low to mid 80s. Those morning temperatures cool in the 50s. But watch out tonight. That chance some scattered showers and thunderstorms here in the metro and the storms could linger around through Friday. Doug and Darlene.